dedicated to the feistiest fighter I know, my one-year-old sister, Brisa Mondragon Reyes. <laughs> Good evening to the sisters, brothers, fathers, mothers, aunts, friends, aunts, cousins, teachers, and uncles. To all the human beings gathered here right now in this moment. Buenas tardes a los hermanos, hermanas, papás, amigos, mamás, tías, maestros y tíos, a todos los humanos reunidos aquí en este momento. So before I get through this 40 minute speech, I'm kidding, see, it's only four pages. <laughs> By the way, Mr. DeMoss, that was my attempt at starting this with a joke. <laughs> now let me just tell you all how honored I am to stand here as your valedictorian. It is more than just the title. It is a privilege to, be the, to address you all with some last words before we part our own ways. But as Georgetown 2013 valedictorian said, I'm not going to tell you much about myself today because I'm not that interesting. Instead, let's talk about you, class of 2015. Congratulations, by the way. I ask that you do this. Look to the person next to you. And if that happens to be your, your closest friend or your twin sister, Melanie and Melissa, then please look to the other side. Think about the last conversation you ever had with them. No, not to talk about the inappropriate Snapchat story that made you hysterically laugh, or the one where you ranted on about your problem. That is, if you talk to the person next to you at all. Today is our day. Each one of us has, each, has been living for 18 years now and attending the same school for at least four years. And yet, here's the sad truth. Some of us will leave here today without knowing much more than the mere name of the person next to us. And to think this might be the last time you see them. People, human beings, that is all that we are. And yet the main title we forget. And likewise, we tend to forget that the person next to us is also human. That at the end of the day, all the trophies, award certificates, headlines, and dollar bills will tarnish forgotten. But something does not, our existence. Perhaps our bodies, but not the memories that people keep of us. And with that comes building a life for which you want to be remembered by. I asked this question to one of the most genuine human beings I have ever had the fortune of having in my life. Mr. Perkins. What do you want to be remembered by, you know, when you're dead? His answer puzzled me, perplexed me quite honestly. And then I remembered that, of course, this was Mr. Perkins I was speaking to. <laughs> His answer, kind. Out of all the possible adjectives in this world, Mr. Perkins simply wants to be remembered as kind. And in fact, he is one of the kindest human beings I know. Thank you, Mr. Perkins, because there's not enough beef jerky in the world to let you know how much of a better person you have made me. <laughs> but Mr. Perkins is not the most popular teacher on campus, nor does he walk around with an ego. He's a leader of integrity, yet he doesn't receive the biggest applause at Senior Awards tonight. <laughs> the Mr. Perkins are the people... <laughs> These are the people I want to talk about tonight. The Mr. Perkins. The people who might go unknown in the grander scheme. The ones I hope to be more like, and the ones we should take the time to, know, to get to know more often. Because in my experience, they are some of the best people out there.
and they don't even know it themselves. Everybody here is sure to know one energetic soul. The one who walks around with Theo during lunch, can't sit still in class, and sometimes can't even take his own comments seriously. Yes, Angel Vivian. <laughs> but a week ago, <laughs> but a week ago, he probably had the most sincere, brief conversation with me ever. Fancy Fox, who is probably dozing off right now, can attest to this. <laughs> Angel Vivian spoke from the heart, telling me he has to continue his education because his younger siblings see him as an example to follow. For many of us, that is the truth. The need to be a good brother or father, mother or sister, simply to be a good human being. It is all rooted in our human nature. And because of this bestowed responsibility, Bibian is a leader. He, like Maria Vasquez, who expressed the same concern in her avid Christmas letter to me last year, are leaders. See, you don't need the title of CEO, vice president, man manager, principal, supervisor, or superintendent to make a difference in this world. Though some must rise to these positions, and they are needed, it is not the only way. Of this, I am certain. Regino Rodriguez, thank you for reminding me of this. Walking without a well-paid title in your life does not define the human nature that will make this world, our world, a better place. In fact, it is the humor with which Jose Sanchez roamed the dim halls, <laughs> the dedication with which Erika Morales happily served her community, and the puns with which Jennifer Huynh influenced infused lives that makes our world a better place. One life at a time, one day at a time. So Angel Bibian, you are successful. Just like Alex Ortiz, Giovanni Gonzalez, and Jonathan Rascon are. Congrats, my friend. You, like all of us, are graduating. And for today, that is more than enough to make your younger siblings proud. Like all of us, the 10-year-old old at heart, Mr. Fonseca, does not need the prestige of a, t of a title coveted by society. In fact, it is perhaps the lack of it that has allowed him to connect with us as we have listened to his poetic philosophies about life in a way that only he can, because there is only one of him. Thank you, Mr. Fonseca. And I am certain that in a similar way, we have left an impression on Mr. Fonseca that only we can. Now, please do not mistake my words for a call to lack ambition. No, we need that ambition, the one that propels those insane dreams. I simply want to remind you all that there's an ambition that we too often forget, myself included. The ambi ambition to become a better person, not better than the person next to you but better than who you were yesterday and who you will become tomorrow. Exactly what Mr. Fonseca does. The ambition with which Mr. Shea has challenged us to see... <laughs> to seek the unjust that past generations have created so that we can then create a world reflective of the hope with which we speak. Mr. Shea is an admirable example of what it means to challenge ourselves to become better and be better. Not just for ourselves, but for those around us. For lack of better words, to do the right thing. Thank you, Mr. Shea. I recently heard a beautiful poem in Honors English the, the speaker of the poem conveys the inability to impact lives. To the poet, I say sorry, but I disagree with you. Mayra Sanchez, you have impacted lives. One too many. 
In fact, so many that you can't remember because every day, every word you say, every place you go and step, step you take inevitably impacts something about the nearest stranger. And if nothing else, you have impacted that stranger's life. Brenda Montes, remember that. But the speaker of this poem also said a truth I could not say better myself. And I quote, I have always wanted to stand out, but how does a grain of sand stand out when the beach is covered with the same grains of sand? The speaker then moves on to question, but if nobody wants to be a grain of sand, how will there be beautiful beaches? If nobody was a snowflake, how will there be white snow winters? Everybody serves a purpose. Beautiful, right? Mayra Sanchez, I agree. We are all but grains of sand. My father and mother, some of the most indistinguishable grains of sand. Yet, I could not have asked for better parents. Todos somos tan solo un granito de arena perdidos en la inmensa playa. Mi padre Marcelino y mi madre Rubí son unos de los granes, granos más indistinguibles. Pero aún así no pude haber tenido mejores padres. Gracias. You see, you see, like my parents, many of our parents do not drive lavish cars, nor give us the luxuries we want. They do not hold the prestigious titles or diplomas, but they have led us. They are leaders that too often go live unrecognized, unnoticed. In a sense, they are nobodies. But next year, we will all be a nobody. Think about it. This is the t last time we gather here together. Next year, you might not know a single soul in your new home. Indeed, we are all a little grain of sand. Felix Magaya, much different than the one Jackie Vasquez is. But essentially, that is all we are. When we are stripped from the titles this society has created and this human nature which allows us to connect in a way that Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram does not allow for, is what makes Felix's future just as meaningful as Jackie's and all of ours. So with all of this said, my very last advice, actually it is not mine, but something the lovely Miss O'Connor advised me. To thine own self be true. Paola Aguilar, I indeed hope to see that invitation for your college graduation come 2019. Yours and all of yours. But in this time of farewells and new beginnings, it is essential to remember who you are and pursue your dreams. Being the best you, you can be, like Mr. Fonseca, Mr. Shea, and countless others have exemplified. Nonetheless, Zoma Fancy Fox has taught us this one best. Now, if like Brian Cerezo and me, you were fortunate to have Mr. Guzman as your sixth grade teacher, you might recall that white laminated sign that we touched every morning. It read, I believe in myself. To this day, I do. I believe in myself as much as I believe in every single one of you and our power. My belief in that the simple words of kindness which Brianna Quintana and Nancy Guerrero gifted to us are the ones that make our world better. A kindness you cannot measure with a trophy and propels me to believe in the promise of a better tomorrow. In fact, with acts like these, why wait for tomorrow? A better today. So if like me, you have the audacity to believe and perhaps enough belief that you commit yourself to doing, please rise. <laughs> Students, please turn around and look at all the people gathered here and that have supported you.
the way, this is for all of us, not just the students. So, for the public here and the teachers. Entonces, para los que como yo se atreven a creer en un futuro mejor, y si tal vez creen lo suficiente como para comprometerse a crear ese futuro, por favor, pónganse de pie. Hay que sellar esta creencia con una promesa para un Roslan más humano, con confianza en sí mismo y unido. Let us seal this belief with a promise for a more kinder, confident, unified Roslan. Because today we spread our wings, but tomorrow we will remain connected as representatives of this little community. From Santa Rosa to San Diego to Irvine and Chicago, from Merced to Humboldt to Rivers, Riverside and back to Sonoma. Some of you, Giselle Dominguez, might remember this one. Please hold the hand of the two people next to you and promise with me. Por favor, agarren la mano de las dos personas a sus lados y prometan conmigo. I promise to do my best today and always for myself, my family, my school, and my community. Yo, pro yo prometo hacer mi mejor a hoy y siempre por mí mismo, mi familia, mi escuela y mi comunidad. You, you can sit down. <laughs> Thank you, gracias, and Hoya Saxa, because you rock.